Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. And if this is your first time here, welcome. So I wanted to kind of talk about today self care, okay. Um, I am taking my channel into another direction again, I'm just trying to really figure this out guys. Um, and I thank you guys for definitely hanging in there with me but once I get it, it's on. <laughs> So self-care is something that I see women doing nowadays, um, but it's something that my mom taught me early on when I was a child to make sure that I am taking time for myself. So I wanted to just have the discussion today with you guys. And self-care to me means taking time for yourself, um, if you are feeling down about something, taking that time to actually regroup. Um, if you are a person who suffers from anxiety, maybe, um, taking that time to kind of regroup again. Uh, things like that. Also, taking time to relax in your home. You don't have to always be outside at a party, at an event around people. Sometimes being with yourself in your own home is a form of self-care. As a person who is a Cancer, I know people are not into astrology, but Cancers typically like their space. We like to be home. We, If our home is clean, <laughs> we are good to go, trust me. Um, so for me, I need that space and I actually really enjoy my own company. Um, I do know people who have a hard time with being by themselves, right? It's not always a good thing. So to me, that's a part of self-care for me, having those days where I'm just like kind of home, just like watching TV or even reading a book or something. So another part of self-care I would say is having spa day at home, right? Spa day, I did do a video on a spa day. I'm gonna do an updated one um, because as I started using new products and stuff for my skin. But spa day is something that is needed for every woman who has a child, a husband, a nine to five, or who's an entrepreneur or any of those things. You need to have a spa day for yourself. Now, it does not necessarily mean that you have to go and pay for a spa. You can have spa day at home for the low, low guys. And you can get rose petals. I should have brought them in here. Rose petals from like a Mart. I usually get them. And to my surprise, I get like a colorful batch. And um, they actually last for more than one use. So that's a good thing. So if you put them in the water and they're not like drenched, you can like scoop them out, <laughs> scoop them out, put them back in, put them in the refrigerator, and you can have them for at least two to three more times of use. Um, with that spa, spa time, you can get some some sea salt, like some Himalayan sea salt. I will say this, and I'm probably gonna put it in the description bar. That salt is very, very powerful. So you only need like a small cap size. Um, you will feel not drained, but you will feel like everything is like coming out of you, any toxins, and then you'll be tired right after. You'll fall asleep and then you'll get up. But you feel kind of really good. You kind of feel like you're floating on like a cloud. So that's something else you can add into it. But having those spa days at home is a good thing. Your nails. Your nails is something that you can do by yourself. I have, I'm horrible at it. However, I know women who are really good at doing their own nails. Things like that. Doing stuff for yourself. Okay. Now when it comes to the mental side of things, I would say reading books, meditating, praying, Sitting with your own peace of mind, going into nature. Now, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a person that's always in the park. I hate bugs, literally. Like I hate them. Um, they didn't do nothing to me. <laughs> I just can't deal with them. Um, but I do feel like reading and stuff is good. Read books that, you know, either relax your mind, make you have a different outlook on life. Um, I like to read books on energy. I like reading books on manifestation. I have a book here called Pitching for Profit. So it really depends on which mood I am. What do I have here? I have Pitching for Profit. I have a style strategy book. I have, I have a couple of things. I have some bold books back here, stories of like 
models and stuff like that. So it really just depends on where you are, but it's something that I like to do. So I add it into my self care. Now I would recommend having a day for it. So pick a day that you would want to have a spa day, a self care day, right? And, or like I said, it can just be you walking somewhere. That's something that you want to do. And it's so important guys, because like I said, a lot of us have nine to fives or are influencers creating content. It could become a lot. Now, for that self-care day, that is not a day that you're planning content, um, turn your phone off. But if it's a day that you wanna create this spa day and stuff, and you wanna take your phone, it's gonna take away from you just having a relaxing day. So kinda do them on separate days. Just make sure you're having a day to yourself to just do nothing, especially you know, at the end of the week or whatever your work week schedule is, at the end of that, you can actually go ahead and just like decompress at the end of the week. So I like to do it on Sundays um, after I grocery shop, clean up my home, do laundry and all that good stuff. I'm really tired sometimes. So that's something that I like to do. So it really depends on your time of day and how or your week how much time you have to do it and guys if you are in a rush and you don't you don't want to you don't want to rush it so you want to take that time if you don't have time to do like at home facials and stuff like that i am going to do another updated video um i just think women should have a routine um and that is just so you are not always consumed with work right every woman has the right to relax i don't care at least a day to relax even if it's half the day you're doing something for yourself that will make you feel good right so shopping <laughs> shopping is another <laughs> self-care day um, and I mean just like go pick up something like some nice pajamas or maybe a dress or something something that's gonna make you feel good I don't mean like a whole shopping spree but something simple go have some lunch um, by yourself um, or if you have a friend that has really good energy, you can bring them along. But it's, it's a good idea to kind of do things on your own just to have that moment for yourself. You'll be surprised at who you meet um, and where you end up. You may end up in an area in your town that you've never heard of and they have really nice shops. So I also incorporate that as far as self-care, right? Reading again, meditating, Candles are a good thing to have in your home if you are doing a self-care day. There are so many types of candles that they have out here. Um, you have soy candles, you have hand poured candles. Um, and there's another one. Now this here is from Bed Bath, Bath and Body, which are not the best. However, I did get some really good ones from Home Goods, guys. I don't show you guys when I go to Home Goods, but I think I am just gonna start showing you guys some of the things that I do throughout my weekend and stuff like that. Um, just getting back into uh, vlogging again, like I said earlier. So I am twisting my channel just a little bit, guys. Let me know what you guys wanna see. And I am gonna start um, really talking about uh, styling for, for tall women because I am tall. And the struggles that we have with like shoes and jeans and jackets and tops, it's just a struggle. It's not like we can just go in and say, hey, let me get that. Some things we can, but we have to alter a lot of stuff. I know I do, and I'm only six feet, okay? So I alter things for me, but it's something that I like to do. I don't mind it. It's not like a, it's not a struggle for me, but I can say that's part of my self-care because if it wasn't, if I didn't adjust my clothes, I wouldn't like how they look on me, right? So, self-care guys. What are some other ways that you incorporate a self-care day within your weekly routine? Do you have one? Um, if you don't have one, would you like a video like sketching it out for you guys um, with products? It can be, it can be anything guys. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment below, let me know what you guys think. But this was just a quick little video on self-care and that it's really, really needed for us women, um, regardless of where you're from, um, regardless of if you are married or have children or no children, it doesn't matter. It's needed for women, period. 
We need this time to ourselves just to kind of regroup, like I said, and decompress from the entire week, guys. So if you like videos like this, comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guys, Coco Styles NY. And my other Instagram page, which is not completely fully up yet, I'm taking my time with it, is Coco Styles NYC. So follow both pages. <laughs> I'll link them below. And my website, CocoStylesNY.com, and my blog, CocoStylesNYC.com, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.